Hi y'all, this is Gina here. I just wanted you to welcome to my channel and I just wanted to show you a little project share that I did. Excuse my desk and everything I've been working. And uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, welcome and stay a while. I did a 3D project with Chris, Christian Crafty Adventures last night and I just finished decorating everything. And this is the one where you don't have to use no dies. You don't have to use no cut files or any of that. This is mainly just your scoreboard and scissors. And that's about it. Okay, I'm sorry I had to come back. Um, like I was saying, I was doing a 3D project with no uh, cut files or anything like that. This is... Uh, real easy all you need is a scoreboard your scissors and some glue or some tape so this is what i come up with with uh, christian's crafty adventure she introduced us to the taco truck and i thought it was so cute i made my talk well you can make it an ice cream truck a taco truck any type of truck i thought about making another one and making a cintas truck a laundry truck <laughs> But let me bring you up a little bit more, and you can see what I got. Isn't this the cutest thing? I had little tassels here, if you can see that. And I put a little window with some little curtains. And I used rosettes and little uh, dye that came with the rosettes for the tires. And I put this. I'm hoping you can see it the window and I put some little pipe cleaners for the little wipers I'm thinking about doing this side too because I put the little antenna up here as another window for the taco truck you know I don't know but this is this cute and you can open it and I used a little velcro dot to put items in there and you can give it to a friend in this cute I thought this was so cute and yeah I put some washi tape and I used some die cuts on this part and die cut it and just fold it my taco I thought about putting some um, little rip brick rack or something in there I don't know <laughs> red <laughs> but that's my taco truck what do you think y'all if you like my pro my project give it a thumbs up and if you like it, share it and comment below. Comment below and tell me what you think. And I did use this um, for the lettering. I wish I had it smaller. I could make it smaller, but I, I, did, I didn't show this earlier. I bought this at Walmart and it was reduced for $5. It's an alpha, a mini alphabet punch board. And it I, I fell in love with it. I mean, look, it's so cute and it's so easy to use. I mean, yeah, I got that at Walmart. And when I seen that Walmart's carry We Are Memory Keeper things, I went, oh my gosh. I bought other things. Um, this is another one I bought. It's a letter punch too. But the letters are really, really tiny for uh, like bat, uh, small little flat paint page flags um i don't know if i have one here that i made i had made some page flags when i was doing my december daily yeah here's some and this is how i used it it punches out the the letters and I just backed it with some uh, cardstock. Right in the backs. You know, just regular colored cardstock. And that's what this one does. See how so tiny they are? They're really tiny. And it wouldn't show up, the taco. So, yeah. I might do this on the other side, but yeah. And I got that that punch board at Walmart for five dollars too. So keep your eye out at Walmart for the in the clearance aisles or even in the craft aisles, 
and you might find some good deals. I found another, and I can't, oh, what was it? <coughs> Excuse me. I was talking on the phone with a, a, a friend and uh, got dry mouth. <laughs> but uh, I have another one, but it's not, it's, it's for the journals. It helps you punch your journals out. So, hey. That's my sharing for today, and I don't want to keep you, and y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be kind to one another. Bye!